Then Paul said, why are you weeping and breaking my heart? I am ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, even to die for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Paul said, why are you weeping? I am not only ready to be bound, I am not only to be chain i'm on, not only only ready uh, to be to be sued in the court but i'm ready even to die for the name of the lord jesus christ to die to defend to die defending the name of jesus christ to die defending that jesus that that name shall not share the glory with the man that the name shall not share the glory with any prophet with any messenger with any prophetess with any man that gro that name you defend that name you are ready the power was ready to defend the name of the lord jesus christ because in that pray in that day they did not want to hear the name of the Lord Jesus Christ being preached. They did not he want to hear. But if you are preaching about the Pharisee, if you are preaching about their synagogue, it is well. But if you are preaching about Jesus Christ, they would they would kill you. And so Paul was ready not only to be chained, but also to die for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so Paul was a faithful witness. Also, Jesus is calling for the faithful, faithful witness in this hour. Those that will die because of the name of Jesus Christ. Those that will die because of the testimony, because of the witnessings of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. Hallelujah. You see, this is what Jesus say, Jesus is saying, that then if anyone would come after me, if anyone would follow Jesus Christ, he must deny himself. You must deny yourself. You must forget yourself. Forget your titles. Forget your family. Forget who you are. Forget who you are. Forget your age, forget whatever you are, forget your car, forget your country. You must forget, you must deny yourself, deny your body, and take up your cross and follow Jesus Christ. Take up your cross, the cross of suffering, the cross of being crucified, the cross of hatred, the cross of rejection, and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what he's saying. And he say, for whoever wants to save his life, we lose it. But whoever loses life, his life for me. Uh, his life for me. We refine it. You see, if you want to save your life, you will lose it. If you want to save your life, you will lose it. If there are people who cannot preach the gospel. There are people who cannot speak the truth because they are defending their life. Because they are saving their life. They are saying that I will not speak the truth in this time because I'm saving my life. I'm saving my family. I'm saving my body. I don't want to be harmed. I don't want to be hated. I want. I don't want to be. I don't want fight. I don't want the battle. So I am. I am saving my life. So if you save your life, if you save your life. You will lose it. If you try to save your life, you will lose it. If you try to save your life, you will lose it. But if you lose your life because of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will receive it. You will find it back. That is what the Bible says. And I wonder today why people, people, preachers, prophets, they don't want to lose, they don't want to lose their life because of Jesus. But now they are defending their life. They are they are saving, they are saving, they are saving their life. It's like they are saving their life. They are defending their life even by in an extent, they are even even having security, code guard, even police, they are saving their life. What are they fearing? They are saving their life. They don't want to die. And the Bible says that if you save your life, if you try to save your life, if you try to save your life, you will lose it. Yes, you will lose it in hell because you are trying to save to save it. But if you lose your life because of Jesus, the Bible says that you will find it back. You see, that's now I am asking. Why are they now protecting themselves with the border guards? Why are they now protecting themselves? with the police why are the prophets of today why are the pastors of today why are the evangelists of today why are the apostles of today they are they are protecting themselves with the guns guns sleeping with the guns going with the guns with the security going with the entire police station why are they defending themselves if they are surely ready to give their life to jesus to give their life for jesus if they are ready to lose their life because of the truth why paul did not defend himself paul was ready and he said that i am not only ready to be chained and i don't want to we don't work with the board guard because i am not only ready to be chained but also to be killed so he was ready to be killed so he would not work with the board guard so he would not defend himself even jesus christ did not defend himself you see you see and so the son of god would not be protected because he, he would want to be protect himself he would call fire from heaven he would call angels from heaven they would protect him but See, he did not protect himself, and see, he gave his life to, to he gave his life. So, if you are a servant of God, give your life to the Lord. 
being ready to to to, uh, to, 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 to lose your soul because of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says that those that will follow me, if you are ready to follow Jesus, deny your deny yourself and take your cross and follow Jesus Christ. Take your your cross. The cross was used for dying. The cross was for dying for. The cross was for being rejected, was for being hated. It was the cross of being whipped by people, being whipped, even uh, the whips like power, the stroke. You see, it was a, a, a cross of rejection. It was a cross of, of being crucified, a cross of dead, whereby you are, it is like you are being asked to, to be carrying your, your, your casket each and every day. If you are ready to die for Jesus Christ, if you are ready to follow Jesus Christ, if you are a servant of Jesus Christ, carry your casket each and every day, knowing that you are ready to die. You see, but the prophet, the apostles, the preachers of today, they cannot carry their casket. They cannot follow their cross, the cross that of dying. They cannot follow it. Why? They cannot even carry. Why? They are now protecting themselves. They don't want to die. They, are, they have both God with guns protecting because they are protecting their soul. So they are now, they are now uh, saving their soul. And the Bible says that if you try to save your soul, you will lose it. You will lose it. You will lose it. You cannot, you will lose it. But if you, but if you lose your soul because of Jesus, you will find it back. Why? That is the gospel. Those servants of the Lord Jesus Christ, they did not walk with the bold God. They did not fear. They did not fear. They preached the gospel because they were ready to be killed because of the truth. But those that you see, they are protecting themselves with the bold God. They are people who are not living in truth. They are living. They are something that they are hiding. They are. They. They are fearing to die because they are hiding something. They are something that they are hiding. They are fearing to die because of their money, because of their riches, because of who they are. They are fearing to die because they own money they have money they are riches so they are protecting their money they are protecting their riches they are protecting uh, uh they, they are wealthy by the protection of both god and police and whatever you must be ready to die if you are a witness of jesus christ we shall know you by the fruit if you are a witness of our Lord Jesus Christ to see and the power said and he knew this he said if we live we live for the Lord and if we die we die for the Lord so I am not only ready to be chained but also to die in the name of Jesus Christ because if we live we live for the Lord if we die we die for the Lord Jesus Christ that is what God is saying that is now seeking for those that will die for Christ for those who will live or die for Christ live or die to witness Jesus Christ those that will defend the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those that will have nothing but holding the truth the word of God he says I tell you the devil will put some of you in prison it is the devil who put you in prison it is the devil devil who put you in high court it is the devil who sues you it is not God it is the devil who puts you there so they will put you the false prophet the false uh, uh, doctrines the false churches uh, the Antichrist and the beast and the devil they will put you in the prison they will put you in the prison they will put you in a prison and you will be persecuted. This is what God is saying. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you the truth. The devil will put you in prison to test you and, and you will suffer for persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death and I will give you the crown of life. Here, yeah, the servants of the Lord. But that be faithful even to the point of death. Be faithful even to the point of death and do not, do not compromise the truth. Do not compromise the word of God. Do not compromise the testimony that you have of the truth do not compromise the word of God do not com compromise to be a witness of Lord Jesus Christ to be a witness of the word of God what the scripture say what the rose say do not compromise it the Bible says I will give you the crown of life be faithful even to the point of death you need to be faithful even to the point of death if you start saying the, that go and speak it even to the court say it is this this is the way Jesus is the way he is the truth it is not lawful for these things to be done. It is not lawful for you to proclaim yourself. It is not lawful for you to do what you are. It is not lawful for you to rob Christians. It is not lawful for you to deceive them. You need to proclaim it. You need to be faithful to the end. Faithful even to the prison. Faithful to the tribulation. Faithful to hatred. Faithful to rejection. Be faithful to the end, says the Lord.